To create a podcast, I'm going to recommend that you first write a Google document, and I'm going to keep it in my vlogs and podcasts folder in my Google Drive. You can create a new document by clicking the plus button and doing Google Docs, or you can do your two finger uh, click and create a new Google document here. I have already made an example, so I'm just going to open that up. It's nothing fancy. It's just a couple of sentences because we are going to use Kami to do the voice recording. Once this is fully loaded, and if this is my complete blog post, I'm going to click this little open in Kami button here, and that is going to open my blog in Kami. On a Chromebook, it's going to ask if you want to open in the Kami app or if you want to just stay in Chrome. I'm going to stay in Chrome just because I think it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. So it's basically the same thing. So here we are in Kami. And I've been playing with this before, so it actually has a voice comment here. As you can see, we have a comment tool over here, and this is the voice comment. There's also a video comment if you would prefer to do video. And there's screen capture if you want to capture everything on your screen. But we're just going to do a voice comment. Now, these are the colors of the dot. So you can see that the last one is purple. Purple is usually my color. Um, just to change things up, let's do blue. I click save, and then I'm gonna click on the document and it will immediately start recording. This is an example blog posting. You can write your posting first and then read it aloud. This might help you feel more comfortable and prepared. Click the stop button and you're ready. If you want to listen, this is an example blog posting. You can it sounds great. If I needed to trash it to try again, I can always do that. So I have my purple one over here. And as you can see, when I click on it, I can actually choose a different color if I decide, you know what, I want that one to be blue. And I want this one to be purple or something like that. You are more than welcome to do that. Now, the important thing that we need to do is save this. So I am going to create my own copy in Google Drive. So now it is in a Kami uploads folder and I can actually move this so that it will be easier for me to find this later. So I'm gonna open my ELA folder because that's where I have my blogs and vlogs. Here it is. So I select the folder, click the select button and this should be in that particular folder. Now there's one more step I need to do before I leave Kami. I'm gonna click on the share button and make sure that my sharing permissions are anyone with the link is a viewer, okay? If you need to change any of that, make sure that purple dot is anyone with the link viewer. We want to copy this link. We're going to go back to our project and we are going to click the embed button. And it says by URL, so all I have to do is copy that Kami link and insert that into my blog. You see Kami loading and you will see all of your work there. Once you're ready, don't forget to click the publish button. It's going to show you everything that you've changed. Go ahead and click publish and it is ready. And if I click view, we'll see what week six looks like. And it should be exactly what we just saw. Week six at the top and then underneath that embedded Kami document and there it is loading. So as long as you have those sharing settings changed so that anyone with the link can view, no one will have any trouble viewing your hard work. If you have any other questions or video suggestions, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching.